Hello everyone, this is CJ. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you have been here before. Uh, this reading is going to be for whoever out there may need it um, and it is also going to be a timeless reading so whenever you're drawn to this reading there may be a special message awaiting for you. I hope you're all doing really well out there. Let's get into this. I'm going to open up with some Moonology cards. And then we'll move on into the tarot. Okay, let's start. Let's see what's going on here. What messages are needed for those that are here, who have been guided here today? Spirit, show me clearly, please. I'm um, feeling like people are talking behind someone's back at this moment. Very interesting energy to receive. Show me. Okay, thank you. We have hold your vision, fixed moon. Mm. Yeah, it's like I, I'm really feeling like someone is talking behind your back, whether that is uh, co workers. It even feels like, oh, okay, we're getting quite a few here. Balancing spirituality and practicality. Show the world the real you. A new romance cycle starts. And what do you need to release? Um, hey, and it says on the bottom of the deck, the full moon you need, the answers you need are coming. It's full moon in Gemini. Okay, so we have Gemini, we have Libra, a lot of air showing up here, and Aquarius. Actually, we've got all the whole air group here. Um, and we also have Pisces, uh, full moon in Pisces. So look right now, we already have two full moons. There's something going on here. I feel like you are working on something, um, maybe this new rom romance relationship, but I'm hearing people talking about it. Um, I'm not sure if it's exes. There's people that don't want you to have this relationship, and yet you are being guided to hold your vision and stay true to what it is you're wanting. Um, this could be even a Pisces, a Pisarian, Pisarian that you might be dealing with, or you might be a Pisces that's listening here, but they're asking you to release what you need to. Um, so don't pay attention to this gossip. I feel like there's gossip going on around you. You're waiting for some kind of answer, and it does feel to do about romance. I mean, these cards, other than um, Full Moon and Pisces, they're all purple and passionate. Um, so. It's like there are people around you who are not really happy that you are going to be in this relationship. But the message that's really coming through here is you're, it's really important for you to actually, if this is the right person, which we will find out, um, stay true to you. You don't need to listen to anyone else. Um, there's a lot of naysayers out there. People will pretend to have your back, but behind you, when you're not around, they're gossiping. I'm really feeling this gossip kind of shit going on here. What is this about? Show me, um, let's get a Pearl of Wisdom and then we'll get into the tarot, see what's really happening here. Show me clearly, please, for those that need this message. It's almost like the energy I'm picking up is these people are trying to persuade you that this relationship is not for you. It's not good for you. But I feel like they're coming from a place of judgment, um, a place of even they don't want you to be happy. You know, there are people out there that you can surround yourself with um, that actually don't really have your back after all. So. It's really important that you stand firm on what it is you are wanting. Don't allow this to um, change your perspective of, well, new growth. And speak your truth. This is exact. I mean, we're, we're really going to get into this, but um, we got new growth, which is it's time to spread your wings and fly. Understanding another's point of views, view shows maturity and growth. I am responsible. It's a beautiful butterfly. So there's a transformative energy coming in for you. Um, which, But at the same time, it's like they want you to still remain honest and true to who you are. Show the world the real you. Don't minimize yourself. Don't make yourself small. Don't um, be, don't allow anyone to take your shine away. 
you know, if you're falling in love right now and this is a new cycle that you're in um, with the new moon in Libra here, it's like other people who are ever not happy for you, they don't have your back anyways. So you need to release those people or at the very least release their judgment because you don't need it, right? Um, you don't need to have their judgment. You can handle it very responsibly by saying, yeah, okay, I understand your point of view, but I'm still going to do me, you know? Um, but it's like, don't allow them, those people, because I feel like there's a few here um, that are just not happy for you. And they seem to be getting a thrill out of talking shit about you. So we have speak your truth. And it says, speak your truth without malice and become more powerful. When did you say something encouraging or positive to yourself? Um, beautiful card. This is a gorgeous jaguar, black jaguar. Look at that power. So spirits could really come through here um, to say, you know, use your power, speak your truth. Don't make adjustments just because other people might not like what you're doing here. I feel for the majority, the message that's coming through is more about a new relationship. They are saying it's a new romantic cycle that is beginning. If you're not in a relationship, um, it's probably around the corner and there's probably going to be a lot of judgment about this person. Um, maybe it's not going to be the same typical person that you, you, know, you would normally date. Uh, it could become someone from a completely different realm. Um, and so that's why they're kind of like judgmental and they're criticizing and, criti and really kind of offering their criticism, but it doesn't feel constructive at all. Um, it feels stunting to me. So, and if you're in a relationship, perhaps you guys, you and your partner have um, decided to give it a new go. And maybe you got a lot of people around you, family, friends that are like, oh, I wouldn't date that person. I wouldn't, why don't you just walk away? Um, this person's not good for you. I, I, I know I sound like I'm rambling here, but honestly, uh, they are giving me a lot of information all at once. All right, so let's get into the tarot and dive a little bit deeper on what is happening here because they want you to trust your own judgment. They want you to speak your truth. I mean, this is all about truth, right? Libra is the justice card in the traditional tarot, and that is the sword of truth. Then we have them saying, speak your truth, right? And then they're also saying, show the world the real you, which is about being your authentic, true self. Um, and then what do we have to release? In the middle, it says balance spirituality and practicality. Yeah, it's like trust yourself here on, your, on this path. Trust your judgment. No one knows you better than you. No matter what anyone ever says, that is the truth. That is the honest to God truth. So if you are in a relationship and you are deciding to try and make it work, maybe after a time of struggle and people don't want to support you on that, well, they don't have to. They don't have to. But you also get to do your own thing here. Okay, let's get started. Hope I'm going to have enough room that you'll be able to see all these cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. All right, what's going on here? Sometimes people just need to butt out and mind their own business. Show me clearly, spirit, what message. Ah, ha, ha. What was I just talking about? Justice popped out. Exactly. This is about speaking your truth. This is about really going after being going after what it is that you want here. And it isn't about what is good for everyone else. It is about what is good for you. And that is what is going to be important. Okay, let's continue. I love that. I love that justice popped out. And they're also saying to me, you know, okay, new romantic cycle beginning. So for those of you that are not in a relationship, um, the cycle, it's a new cycle beginning. It feels like this is going to be way better. Um, it's going to be a positive, harmonious relationship. Uh, it's going to be equal, give and take. It's going to be like just you give 100%, they give 100%. It's like all these naysayers, all these people that are, and I don't know who the hell these people are, but the voices I'm hearing in my head, they're, they're kind of obnoxious, actually. Um, they just need to pipe on down because eventually they're going to have to eat their words on this. All right. Show me clearly, spirit. 
What is this about? What's going on? Let's get two more shuffles. And ready. I want to put this here, actually. King of Swords, exactly. Speaking your truth, talking about the truth. He's all about the truth. He holds the sword of truth. Ace of Wands, yes. Go after what you want. If it's a new person, go after it. Seven of Swords, keep it to yourself if you want. You don't need to share your life with everyone. Share what you want and keep the other parts under wraps. Not everyone needs to know your business here. But the King of Swords is like, again, that whole truth, you know, um, with you though. It's about you being truthful to yourself and don't allow anyone to try to convince you that you don't know what's best for you. Nine of Swords. Obviously, this is a situation that is causing a lot of stress for you. A nine of Swords is that anxiety. Perhaps, I'm, like I'm picking up on family here. I'm picking up on family for sure. Um, where they are, it's kind of that energy where like no one's going to be good enough for my daughter or no one's going to be good enough for my son energy. Um, but I am still picking up on friends too. There's, there's like two separates. This one feels more like family right in this energy. And then over here to my right, I feel like it's friends, co-workers that are doing a lot of gossiping. And I think it's causing you a lot of stress with the Nine of Swords. So Spirit is saying, you just, you just be in your power here. You just stay focused on what it is you want. You know who you want, just like the King of Swords. You know, he's a king for, for um, the reason that he has had to struggle, right? He's gone down his path and he remains honest and truthful to who he is and what he wants, regardless of what anyone else thinks. So don't allow that to keep giving you anxiety if this is your reading, if you're resonating with this. You need to be able to just let go of that. Let other people do and think whatever they want, but you focus on what is going to be best for you. I really feel that this is about a, a turn of events in your romantic life, and there's a lot of judgment going on. We have death and rebirth after the Ace of Wands. Um, Ace of Wands for me too, before we go any further, Ace of Wands is that it's fire, so it's our passion, our creativity, in love it's that really wow it's exciting and it's it's um just full of vivacious energy and frequency this is a yes card though for me too so if you've been hemming and hawing about fixing a relationship or starting a new relationship and there's all these other people around that are trying to control your life um it's don't listen to them it's very clear here death and rebirth well that's scorpio's card it's like, let whatever die out, die out. If they don't want to be around and support you, then let them leave. Um, this is a new cycle that you're beginning. Uh, so again, Seven of Swords, keep it to yourself. You don't need to tell everyone all your business. They don't need to know everything, you know? And again, this card is showing up twice, to, in two ways. Keep it to yourself, but it also is telling you, telling me, <laughs> I feel quite passionate here, um, that's those people that were talking in the background. They're sneaky, you know? There's like, I don't like that energy. Okay. And Eight of Cups, absolutely. Um, Eight of Cups, walking away for, from those who are not your support, that are not, um, they just seem like little jealous kind of people is what I'm picking up on. And family, it feels more like well, look, we can have jealousy in family, can't we? I'm just going to have a sip of my um, water here. Sometimes family can be almost even worse, right? Sometimes family can be, like, really petty. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to move into the next deck. Because you have eight of cups, so you're walking away. You're leaving behind everyone that is not going to be supportive of you. Um, and at the very least, if you're not leaving them behind and cutting them out of your life, you're not listening to what they have to say anymore. That's you be your beautiful authentic self and trust your intuition and if this is involving a new romance where people are judging who the new person may be um you know try to not listen to it or at the very least don't put a lot of energy into what they say this is a really interesting reading here there's a saying you know um it's a, a prisoner's a saying, and I just heard this the other day from someone, a um, friend of mine. 
said, um, because it was in reference to kind of something like this situation. It was like, um, you know what they say, it's like, you know what they say, if when you're in prison, if you try to get out of prison, and this is just a figurative of speech, um, your, the, your inmates will try to keep you down, right? It's like that rotten apple that makes all the apples rotten, even if they're beautiful and red and shiny. If there's one rotten apple, it makes all of them um, rotten. And I'm really getting that energy that there may be people around you that just are not going to be happy for you because they are unhappy in their life. Um, and so I really think that this Pisces card, balancing spirituality and practicality, is about really trusting in you, trusting in what's going to be right for you, trusting that the divine has your back, your back in all situations, and you know, be practical about what people are saying. You do not need to take the advice. You can listen, but you don't need to take the advice, right? Okay, let's continue. What is, what is this? Nine of Swords in reference to. If people that you love are not supporting you. Oh, Five of Cups. See, Five of Cups is clarifying the Nine of Swords. It's like it's making you sad because you are really feeling passionate about this relationship. Um, and it's making you sad that the people that are supposed to love you and support you are not. And so it's really bringing you deep sadness. And it is sad when those that we think have, that are always gonna support us and you know all of that, when they let us down, it feels really horrible. I mean, I've been there a time or two in my life and it feels really horrible, but we gotta just kind of realize that, you know, they're, they're being that way because they're not happy with their own life. All right, what is um, the Ace of Wands death about here? It's a new start. Aces are all about new beginnings. Whoa, way too many. New beginnings, and this feels like a new one in this passion. Ooh. Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Oh, we got quite a few here. Nine of Wands. The High Priestess and the Six of Wands. Okay, I like this. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. Your wish fulfillment here. Okay, so let's just talk about this for a second. Um, it's like you are determined to, you, you're really determined. There's This connection means something to you. And so you're really determined to um, allow this new cycle to begin. I feel like a lot of people don't want you to. Um, but you are gonna be victorious here with the Six of Wands. This is success. This is um, winning, per se. Um, it's like it's gonna be successful, this union, this new romantic cycle that's starting. And also, this card speaks of recognition. So there may be a lot of people that maybe are judging you, don't agree with you they're gossiping behind your back about this new person this new relationship or this new way of doing your relationship um, and so there's just a lot of uh, negative kind of energy around it but it's like eventually eventually they are going to have to recognize that they were wrong and that you were right mm-hmm and then we have the High Priestess, and I feel like that's clarifying the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Babe, listen to your intuition. Again, as I said, you know yourself the best. You know what is going to be best for you. Um, you have your own life experience to draw on in this situation. I feel it is about a new romantic partner. Um, or like, again, like if you've been in a relationship and maybe you both have broken off, but now you're coming back together because you realize that you both want to be together. And then there's all these people that are saying, oh my God, don't do it, don't do it, you're gonna regret it. I say, listen to your own intuition. This is your path to walk, not anyone else's. And so, and your intuition is gonna lead you on the right way. And it looks like it brings you your wishes coming true. 
So that is a beautiful energy. And so when your wishes come true, it's like everyone's going to have to stand up and say, well, we were freaking wrong, right? Right? Um, okay, let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out on this reading. Speak your truth. Stand up for what you want and what you believe in. However this reading may be applying to you. It's the same energy can apply to whatever circumstance. Uh, and don't give up on what it is you truly want. And that is going to help you continue to grow and spread your wings. And it's okay to disagree, you know? And I hope the people around you can understand that and respect that. Is there a card? No? Oh! Well, that's three, man. Okay, but we're going to take them. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands. This is exciting. This is feeling happy. This is feeling, you know, really passionate about what you're doing here. Beautiful energy. Some of you may be a fire sign, right? Um, or you may be dealing with a fire sign. Now, where did I go? Okay. Um, and then we've got the, <laughs> the Knight of Wands. Beautiful, really enjoying going after this, really enjoying the process if you're starting to date someone, really just allowing yourself to be free and do what you want without any kind of um, restrictions, like almost like that freedom of abandonment of any kind of rules and regulations or judgment or criticism. Then we have the five of wands. This is feeling like there's conflict People are not agreeing with what you're doing here. But you know what? This, again, repeating. This is your life. Do what you want to do. And we have the Ten of Cups. So we not only have the Nine of Cups, now we have the Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful union. Happy home, happy family for you, where everything meets. You see how they're all connected here, all the cups? It is beautiful. It's like a gorgeous harmony that is happening. So this is what I have for you. I just feel like it is um, a really, it's a time where you have to stay truthful to who you are and what it is you want. And if there are people around that do not like what you're doing, do not like the choices you're making, then you need to release them. It says that, what do you need to release? Right here, right? So um, I hope this helps in some way. I feel like you're on the right path, I do. And I feel like if this is about love, it is a good, beautiful um, connection. And forget about the naysayers, you know? They're just jealous or they're not happy with their own life. That's it. Um, and bottom here of the deck, it does say, the answers you need are coming. Yeah, it's like your answers, you're gonna see the, an you're gonna see the truth of who is really in your corner and who isn't. Because there's a lot of people that aren't in your corner. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Uh, High Priestess, Pisces. Um, I didn't really go through here, did I? We got, so we have, no, we have Pisces, Libra, Libra, Pisces. Hmm, you guys might be doing that. Aquarius. We have Gemini. Um, yeah. So kind of got them all here. We've got all the elements. All right. So I hope this helps in some way or at least confirms that you know that you're on the right path. Don't listen so much to what everyone else thinks. It's not personal. It's about what they feel, right? Okay, thank you for being here, and I hope to see you next time.